The boys at school and I, we disappeared between classes. We passed tobacco between our hands like water at the well. Smoke signals provided translation between multicolored kids wagging in a vacant lot. We met there between family and school. Felt most at home in the no man's land where the old and the new worlds couldn't find us. We even met there for fights, first kisses, sneaky swigs of alcohol on weekend nights. It's even where my friend Mark told me about how our friend Omar had died. And I found the truth somewhere between his explanations. Us kids grew up in that vacant lot. Between being Greek, Lebanese, Vietnamese, and Australian, knowing we were no longer truly either one, but somehow both migrant kids are like rivers, always moving, but somehow still enough to be given a name like Wog, Nip, Fake, Hyphen, Australian. So of course, when we learned how to drive, we'd ride for hours in the only place where we felt like we belonged, somewhere between points A and B. Between the green and the red, I learned to love the traffic lights when they turn amber, because I realized our teachers also slowed down on their approach to us and tapped their feet impatiently for our answers. I've learned to rest my head in the elbows of my lovers, somewhere between their hearts and their hands. Like the moon, I keep my distance, because it's the only thing that makes me look like I'm standing still enough to get close to. And I write my best work in transit, in hotel rooms where the linen is transparent and the paintings by no one. I write so the silences between my words can begin to make sense and I exist somewhere between the surface of the page and the tip of the pen. So I wrote this piece like my life in the margin, but I made the whole thing, the title, at dawn and the dusk, somewhere between the ridges, the pinnacle and the cusp. So when they tell me I'm not political enough, not Greek enough, not Australian enough, not a poet enough, not street enough, not me enough, I tell them I'm a star and I exist somewhere between you seeing me shine and realizing I'm already dead to you. I just let you witness some of my burning. I'm not a hyphen. I'm a hundred meter dash. Between my history and your make-believe, between white Australia policies and being saved by the colony, between having to drag my past kicking back into my present and then hide it behind my back in your presence. So be careful when you place that hyphen in my name or I'll use it to cut your throat just to show you how much I love this country but that I will always have some Sparta in me. I may be an amber light, but amber is the only gemstone that is a living, flowing liquid permanently fossilized that keeps itself warm, that is used as medicine, that smells sweet when it gets burnt, that in Roman times was worth more than a slave, that was named Electron by the ancient Greeks, a precursor to the English word for electricity because they discovered that if rubbed the wrong way, amber will always create a spark and amber is only ever increased in value when some of us are discovered stuck in it. So of course us in-betweens, the most rare, would gather around passing those fires between us in that vacant lot share a fleeting moment of belonging and tell stories in our silences of how our friend Omar was sent flying between the hood of a Holden and the wall of a house like a shooting star. I'm just glad we got to witness some of his burning. <laughs>